What are you looking at there, boy? The target. Restart that. So I'm just gonna check the safety and make sure that there's no bullet in it. Nope, no bullet. Your safety's on. We're just getting ready for our pig hunt that we're going to in California. And we're just gonna practice shooting. I've got to be honest, these days right here have come way too quick. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love having a teenage son, getting into shooting, hunting, and the outdoors, but it's just that it's come way too quick. So if you've got a small, if, if what you can see is small and it's kind of floating around, you need to get up in your scope until that fills up the entire circle, Okay. and it's not moving, and, it, and then your picture will be nice and clear. Because if you move to one side or the other, it's going to be skewed, right? Yeah. So you want that nice and centered and solid and full scope. Okay. So just kind of inch up in there just a little bit more. Could it hit me in the face? No. Okay. Not if you got it nice and solid in your, in your shoulder. Okay. This is Hudson. Huddy is my oldest. Just turned 15 and is overblown with energy, always looking for adventure, and definitely full of crap. You could say he's just like me, and I'll take it. I don't feel much older than he is, and it makes me nervous sometimes to be a good dad. I think I fail at it often, but it's been fun. So that should put us that other half inch. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw another one, and we'll see where you're at. Okay. <laughs> I just lost my train. At least you didn't jerk, though. Yeah. That's a good test. So we'll turn the scope up just a hair because those last four shots are right there. One, two, three, three, four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? I think I did pretty good. <laughs> Don't put that in. I don't know what I, ha what I can put in the show. Every time I turn around, he's don't put that in there. Don't put that in there. Might not even have a show. I think he's ready. Those last three were money, so. Get this kid packed. Go do some grocery shopping. We made that look easy. It was hard. Huddy and I have been invited down to California to hunt turkeys and hogs with my good friend Charles Whitwam and Mr. Mark Groupie. Road running, gate getting, backwards driving, Mark Groupie. This time of year is amazing. Green and full of life and there's nothing like being on the ranch in the springtime. This week, I'm really looking forward to just sitting back and playing cameraman. I'm leaving the education and expertise up to Charles. I just want to watch Hudson learn. As a dad, sometimes I feel like I'm just telling him what to do or how to do things. My friend is a natural leader, and I can already see the connection between his and Hudson's minds. That's where they're going to be sitting. It looked dark enough. It's probably pretty fresh. It looked dark enough, I thought something might be in there. But that's what you got to look for. If you look and see like a black blob. He's right behind that rock. Like. Did you see? You can see him right there. See him moving? Yeah. Okay. So put your, put your glass on there. Here he come. He's gonna be on the left. That's him now. Yeah, you see him right there. Wait till he gets in that opening. See him. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. The first couple of days, we've had some close calls on the hogs but communication and timing just hasn't quite worked out. We've been hitting it hard in the early mornings and late evenings, and the midday turkey chases, well, they've been kind of a blast. The big rock. Hey. It's gotta be here. Sleep. Go ahead.
wait it out. There he is. <laughs> He's running. What's up with that? What? Why didn't you shoot him? It was too far. Yeah? Good choice. It was farther than the other one. Good choice. Yeah. Good move. Look at him. He's, he's reserved now. Mr. Mark would be ticked if you shot his son's bird right in his backyard. Why didn't you come with me? I didn't know what to do. Oh, I was kind of just letting you do your thing. No, I don't need to reenact nothing. I just want to get your guys' excitement. Yeah. Why are you guys so excited? Whoop. Nice. <laughs> that was awesome. We just saw it cut across the fence. And I just grabbed the shotgun and just... Boom, smoked it, Flop City. Charles, you are the man. Oh, that was so cool. Was that cool? Yeah. You stoked? Yeah. Was, I said, did you, feel the, did you feel the 12 gauge kick? He goes, no, I didn't feel anything at all. Yeah, that's what happens. Oh man, son, that's awesome. Let's do it. You stone cold it. You stone cold dropped it. Oh. The other two don't even know. <laughs> it's your turn, Dad. Hey, hold on, hold on. This is good. This is good. He dropped the sucker on oh, its tracks. Did you see its legs just go? But I thought it was well, pretty. Wherever you aimed, you should do that again. That was perfect. Right there's Mark. Well, Huddy has his first hog. And in the excitement, I failed once again as a dad and didn't make sure he had his ears on. Or maybe I can blame Charles for that one. In either case, the pig is down and it's time to celebrate. Right, it's the same things you were looking at. Adi, I thought you should have shot the small one. No. All right, go get your pig, huh? Tell your guide to get you on that thing. It's a great size. So, so Charles, you'd be down there. I can't believe we've strung him out this long and not let him go see it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's up. Did you? 
No wonder you dropped him. You stuck him in the head. There's the goes out of, huh? Hey, I guess you went for the headshot on him. What do you say, huh? That was awesome. That is a growler, Hudson. You put it in its ear hole. Right in its ear hole. That's a good reference for next time. I can't tell you how appreciative I am of Charles and Mark for making this hunt happen. You know, this trip is just one of many more to come. Huds has a Nevada deer tag burning in his pocket, and I absolutely cannot wait to hit the mountains again with my boy. <laughs>